Budget cuts are putting special needs students at risk in one local school district. That's the concern of some activists who reached out to CBS 4 at 530's Harrison Parker, who's live in the newsroom after speaking with parents and educators about their concerns. That's right. I spoke with parents and one local union leader who told me that they're concerned about vital services for special education at the Socorro Independent School District. One parent I spoke with told me his five-year-old son is falling through the cracks. I, I feel like it, it puts him in a position where, to where he's bullied, um, to where he's being made fun of um, because he can't communicate his, his emotions and what he needs and what he wants. That's Mac Hernandez, dad of five-year-old Aaron Hernandez. His son attends Mission Ridge Elementary and needs speech therapy. He enrolled in August, but his dad tells me he's only received part of his therapy in February. He says the school got rid of vital special education clerks, overburdening the experts who could help and leaving his son without full-time care. All paperwork should be able to be handled through um, through a clerk, and there should be um, a diagnostician to be able to diagnose him to accept him into the program so that way the speech therapist herself isn't overwhelmed by doing all three jobs at one time. This alleged breakdown is no surprise to one union leader. They did as they reassigned a big majority of those special ed clerks to other positions in the district. Rosie Perez is the president of the West Texas Alliance. She works with transferred clerks and teachers who say they are overwhelmed because the school district has cut services to save money. There was no systems in place prior to removing the clerks. They did no uh, research. They did not talk to these individuals that are all affected by it to see what needed to be put in place prior to removing them. Rosie Perez said clerk reassignment and other issues drove out existing special education teachers. She also told me that led to a shortfall in experts that's higher than other comparable school districts. I believe there's nine positions um, that are open for speech language pathologist. And I wanna say there's six that are open as diagnosticians. And I think that because of that move of removing the special ed clerks, that's why we're not getting people to apply for those positions. Mac Hernandez told me he wants the problem fixed because his son is being affected every day. Son has come home crying from school um, because people are uh, kids are bullying him. SISD has not responded to our questions just yet. We'll certainly keep you posted both if they get back to us and as we continue to learn more. Reporting from the newsroom, Harrison Parker, CBS 4 at 530.